Hey, it's Harkert from Play. Today I'll show you how to make your Figma designs responsive once you've imported them into Play. So let's start with this bottom drawer that I've designed using Auto Layout in Figma. You can see the width of this is 393. That's the size of a typical iOS device. Oftentimes in Figma, people will indicate that something is the full width of the page by using this width. So we're gonna take this Command C in Figma and paste it onto our page in Play, Command V. Now, the first thing I wanna do is pin it to the bottom of the page because it's a bottom drawer. So I'm gonna pin it in my position panel to the bottom and to make sure it stays in the same position even when we scroll, we're gonna pin it to the page. Now, everything looks great because my iPhone size here also has a width of 393. But what if someone was viewing this on a different device? Let's say maybe they're uh, viewing it on an iPhone 16 plus. You can see when we've changed to that, it no longer fills the entire width and it makes it not look as great. Now, if I change this to something smaller, like let's say this iPhone 8, you can see now it's cropped. So we want this to fill the entire width of the phone, not any more and not any less. So we're gonna take this and in the layout panel, we're gonna change the width from the point value of 393 to fill. Now, even as we change this across all these different iPhone sizes, you can see it's gonna fill the entire width. There's gonna be no cropping and there's also not gonna be empty space. And that is how you make a design responsive once you've imported it from Figma. Thanks so much for watching this video.